beer and wine production. Quality control is essential in ensuring the correct balance of organic compounds in beer and wine production. The use of analytical techniques such as gas chromatography and mass spectrometry allows brewers and winemakers to measure and monitor the levels of organic compounds in their products. This ensures that the final product meets the desired quality standards and has the correct flavor and aroma profile. Quality control also helps to identify any potential issues in the production process. For example, if the levels of esters in a batch of beer or wine are too high, it may indicate a problem with the fermentation process. Identifying and addressing these issues early on can prevent a batch of beer or wine from being ruined and save the brewer or winemaker both time and money. Environmental Impact of Organic Compounds in Beer and Wine Production While organic compounds are essential in beer and wine production, their use can also have environmental impacts. The production of organic compounds such as amino acids, organic acids, esters, and phenols requires energy and resources. The use of these compounds in production can also result in waste products, such as spent grains and grape pomace. Brewers and winemakers can take steps to minimize the environmental impact of their production processes. For example, they can use renewable energy sources, such as solar or wind power, to power their operations. They can also recycle or repurpose waste products, such as using spent grains as anamaphid or grape pomace as a fertilizer. In addition, some brewers and winemakers are exploring alternative methods of production that use fewer organic compounds or rely on natural processes. For example, some winemakers are experimenting with using wild yeast for fermentation instead of commercial yeast strains. This can result in a more complex flavor profile and reduce the need for added organic compounds. Future Directions and Organic Compounds in Beer and Wine Production As consumer demand for high-quality beer and wine continues to grow, brewers and winemakers will need to innovate and explore new methods of production. This includes exploring new sources of organic compounds and developing new analytical techniques to monitor and measure the levels of organic compounds in their products. One area of research is the use of alternative sources of sugars for fermentation. For example, some researchers are exploring the use of agave nectar or honey as a source of fermentable sugars in beer production. Others are exploring the use of alternative grains, such as quinoa or sorghum, as a source of fermentable sugars in beer production. Another area of research is the use of natural processes for fermentation. For example, some winemakers are exploring the use of spontaneous fermentation, where wild yeast and bacteria are allowed to ferment the grape juice naturally. This can result in a more complex flavor profile and reduce the need for added organic compounds. Regulations and Labeling Requirements for Organic Compounds in Beer and Wine Production Regulations and labeling requirements for organic compounds vary by country and region. In the United States, the Alcohol and Tobacco Tax and Trade Bureau, TTB, regulates the production and labeling of alcoholic beverages, including beer and wine. The TTB requires that all ingredients used in beer and wine production, including organic compounds, be listed on the labels of the final product. In addition, the TTB has established specific regulations for the use of the term organic on beer and wine labels. To use the term organic on a beer or wine label, the product must meet specific requirements for organic production, including the use of organic ingredients and the avoidance of synthetic.